D A Z Y five nine. You got to be kidding me. Hi everyone, it's Daisy fifty nine here, and if you would like to see paintings like these, which I call white pattern paintings, then you can keep on watching. Let's get into the video. Let's get started. So the things you will be needing to make this will be a canvas, as the one I have here. You will be needing tape, and I don't suggest clear tape. I would do masking tape so you can see it as you are painting. And then, so I went to Dollarama, as you can see, and um, you also need paint, so make sure you have some sort of white with you. So you are going to want to lay out a place where you can use your paint where it won't get messy. So I just laid down a bunch of paper. And then you're also going to want a spot to put your paint so it doesn't get messy over there. Then you are going to take your tape and you are going to make a pattern on your canvas. When you are done putting on the tape, you are going to take your sponge brush, dip it in the paint color that you want, and you're going to start dabbing all over. Okay, so when you want to switch colors, as you see I switch colors, um, you want to take your white then. That's when you want to take your white, mix it in with the color you just started with, so you can create that on ombre effect when it goes lighter, lighter, and lighter. A good technique to make yours blend in is to take a brush with no paint on it. And as you can see, my colors did not blend very well. You can tell that they're there. Like right here, you can see how they just go in. So to make them fade into each other, you want to just take that brush that has no paint on it and just dab in that spot so they can mix together. And this way you're adding no paint, because if you keep on adding paint, the color will get lighter and it will get darker as well because there's more paint there and they just will not smudge together. Now that my colors have faded into each other, I'm going to go on to the next color, and I'm going to add white to my mixture. Only a little bit, though, because you don't want it to get too light too fast. When you have completed painting and you have reached the bottom, this is what mine looks like. And then you are going to find where your tape ends, and you are going to try to rip it off. Bye everyone, I hope you enjoyed my first DIY that I've made so far, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!